Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Thank you for joining us in the IMK 221 Roundtable session. Uh, to start off, I would like to introduce all of our panelists for the day. So, first, we have a full time housewife who is an avid shopper at Tesco Extra Penang. Uh, good morning, Madam Aisha. And then we have a well known food technologist from the RD department of Nestle Malaysia, Dr. Shui Yuan. And last but not least, uh, welcome Dato Afika, Head of Marketing and Commerce from Global Specialty Ingredients, Sindiran Berhad. So, what we are going to do today is chat through a few broad concepts that has been uh, showing up in the marketplace. Um, and I am really sure that all of us are really interested in hearing your candid comments based on your experiences in any of these topics. So, uh, I would like to share with you uh, an excerpt from an article that I read, uh, written by Natalie Burns Holland from Queen's University, Ontario. It states that uh, you may not want to admit it, uh, especially if you are, you are a self-proclaimed foodie who prizes the fact that you will try anything before judging it. But it is true that uh, you eat with your eyes. We all do. So this means that the color of the food has a massive impact on how we perceive the food. Uh, customers would want to be able to understand the list of ingredients without having to decipher them. Uh, one, report, uh, one report from Research and Markets recently discussed how consumers uh, want whatever is on the food labeling to match whatever they can find in their kitchen. So this reflects their hesitancy toward ingredients that sounded like engineered chemicals. Uh, first things first, we will talk uh, on something that has been around for a little while and it is still getting a lot of traction and it seems to have a lot of staying power and this and that is the whole idea of clean label. So I'll start off with Madam Aisha. Uh, as the voice of consumer, uh, what do you have in mind when we talk on clean label? Okay, um, thank you for inviting me. Uh, in my opinion, clean label is something that is natural or organic. As consumers, we are usually looking for food that is that contain not contain artificial ingredients such as uh, artificial colors or dyes. All right, thank you. Um, more shoppers are actually reading the labels. At least fifty eight percent in the United States. Uh, so this has led to the development of clean label. So, next, Dr. Shui Yuan, um, uh, would you mind to elaborate uh, what is actually going on with clean label in the world? Uh, why does it sound more interesting than GMO, than gluten-free? Yes, thank you. Uh, in my opinion, there are very uh, more and more consumers who are demands for foods that are free from artificial color and dyes. Forcing a shift away from FD&C certified color to move towards a more natural alternatives. In fact, industry is very hard to achieve uh, natural color, uh, natural color, and also desired color. Nat uh, industry expert explore color formulation strategies in order to ensure that the color is correct and also uh, ensure a clean label. With clean label. Uh, is also showing responding towards a more growing demands for information and also transparency by consumers. Clean labeling is now no longer a trend but rather a consumer's demand. And clean labeling to industry in which industry in general is responding, putting more and more emphasis uh, on these aspects in food packaging. More and more clean label also voluntarily label GMO status too. All right, thank you. I hope most of us are clear with her explanation. So, Dato, uh, what about the hype of clean label in the industry? Would you mind to elaborate? Okay, thank you, moderator. From my point of view, Clean Label is a consumer-driven movement demanding a return to real food and transparency through authenticity. It is a food product containing natural, familiar and simple ingredients that are easy to recognize, understand and pronounce. And the most important is there is no artificial ingredients or synthetic chemical of color in food products in the effort to improve market product 
in the effort to improve marketing productivity in a company. Okay, thank you everyone. So, moving on, I would like to talk on the likes and dislikes of the clean label of I would like to talk on the likes and dislikes of the clean label concept. So, uh, these healthy food and drinks are on track to hit 1 trillion US dollars in sale by 2017 as predicted by Euromonitor International. So, this even holds true for confectionery sector where companies are touting for healthier snacks such as uh, whey protein energy gummies, uh, gluten free liquorice, and also. Uh, countless dark chocolate. So, Madam Aisha, as a consumer, uh, do you personally like the idea of clean label? Uh, is it a boon for uh, consumer when they shop, or is it just another curse? Okay, um, for me, I like the idea of clean label because consumers uh, usually think that having artificial color in foods might have side effects such as allergies. So they are more careful in choosing their food. I believe that if using natural colouring in food product, it will increase the trust and authenticity of co consumers. Um, as we know, using consuming artificial sorry, as we know consuming a clean label product it will give a lot of benefits to us. But however Consumers still need to be more elite because sometimes there are people out there that will take advantage in this by labeling their not so clean product as a clean label product. All right, thank you. Um, I think though, I think that even though clean label is mostly abstract as it is consumer driven revolution, it is actually hard for them to know what is what and which is which because I mean not, of, uh, not all of us are knowledgeable of whatever the manufacturer's times on the food label. So uh, Dr. Shui Yuan, uh, I am curious if you have a customer with food colouring formulation issue and they would want the issue to be solved uh, with a much cleaner label, uh, do you think it narrows down the toolbox that you have or you would still want the consumer to benefit the most. Well, according to Dr. Hendrik Hawk, the managing director of the GNT Group, it is highly important and recommended for food consumer to actually know and understand the consumer's reaction to labeling in order for them to choose the right claim for their products. When it comes to coloring ingredients, Manufacturers should bear in mind that uh, consumers and also shoppers have an idea on how they define natural water color solutions. 42% uh, um, of the consumer actually expect that the natural food coloring is only originate from edible raw materials such as fruits and vegetables. And with the clean label, consumer can actually know the exactly true ingredient that are being used when they consume any food products. And with clean label, consumer feel more safe to consume product which ever have the clean label and to avoid any unnecessary effects and consequences. Consumer will also will not feel being cheated when they have products with clean label. I see. So, uh, Dato, uh, what about you? Uh, uh, is the clean label trend driving you to source your materials differently from uh, what you guys have did? Or is it just parts and parcel of what you do every day? I mean, does the concept hit up the manufacturing world? Okay, actually, I agree with clean label concepts. It helps the consumer, include me, to find the quality's value in the food they eat, and taking healthy diets and also eating habits into their own, into their own hands. Natural coloring helps to minimize the environmental impacts because they comes from natural sources. They are not harmful to the environment, but the problems are natural color are required in high cost and also difficult to produce because due to its availability of raw materials can vary from season to seasons, places and species. 
Alright, thank you. So, uh, today, a growing number of consumer are demanding for foods and beverages that are free from artificial dyes and colours. So, we are currently shifting into a much more natural alternative, but they would still want the same uh, vibrant shade as it as the colour occur in their synthetic counterparts. So, we will now talk on the ramification of the clean label concept towards color formulation strategies. So, Dr. Shui Yuan, how does the R&D world adapt to the shift? So, let me talk on beverages. There are actually a full range of color in beverage market in which they are linked to consumers' expectation of flavor. Thus, color in beverage should be bright, consistent and stable throughout the processing phase, especially at the point of consumption. Performance of color ingredients will be affected by shelf life, ingredient interaction, and also storage and packaging condition. There are actually no so special formulation and solubilizing agent that required for water soluble uh, color such as grapes, elderberries, and also black carrots that contain water soluble anthocyanin. Paprika, carrot emulsion, and also anthocyanin from grape, elderberry, and black carrot will all perform well even though there's no uh, precipitation of the pigments. And for paprika and carrot, they are actually oil soluble colors that they require special formulations in order to ensure that the pigments remain dissolved in the beverage and do not ring out. However, beautiful yellow and orange color can be achieved by using paprika and carrot. Moreover, lycopene and tomato oleo resin can actually provide an orange-red shade in retorted and also pasteurized beverages. In soft drink industry, caramel is the most widely used colorant in which caramel can provide a reddish-brown hues and also enhance the foam characteristic and also the mouthfeel in soft drink. Thank you. Uh, now we know that they are working hard on it, uh, on the clean label. So, Dato, um, uh, would you mind to elaborate uh, uh, what are the challenges that the manufacturer face after the clean label uh, kicks in? Okay, take for example, the patented blue color from fruit juice is a natural blue solution. And this color, when combined with natural source of red and yellow, can create a wide range of hues, including including brown that can be used to replace caramel in a variety of application. Color can vary with pH. Some color are sensitive to metal ions such as calcium, and some of color also are sensitive to vitamin C, although some of them are stabilized by it. Hence, the best way to address it by by working closely with an experienced natural supplier to select a proper color for the applications. All right, thank you. Okay, to wrap up now, what I'm going to do is uh, we will have our panelists uh, from their respective uh, field to tell us about something in your area that's uh, that's kind of got you pump up. It's got your focus. It's got your attention. Uh, we'll just walk through that. Uh, but before that, I would like to hear from uh, Madam Aisha. Uh, as a consumer, right, uh, what do you hope to see in the future? Uh, do you expect to see more products with cleaner label and do you expect the revolution to stay? Okay, um, I'm looking forward to see many more clean label products in the market, especially the one that contain natural colouring. Um, I know it's not easy to produce a product by using only uh, not, uh, from a natural sources and if it is successfully produced the price will be higher but I think it is not a big deal for us as a consumers as long as it gives good effects for us All right, Thank you, so I think that uh, learning something or having knowledge prior to buying would make you a smarter consumer So Dr. Shui Yuan uh, anything in the R&D area that has got you fired up? Actually, in R&D area, this clean labeling is being given more attention in R&D area. 
and all of the food technologies are actually trying their best to meet the demand for clean labeling and also color formulation. In the future, we hope that every product can have a clean label so that can avoid any misleading and also misunderstanding on the content of the label. Okay, thank you. So, uh, Datuk, what about you? Uh, anything in the industry that's got you pumped up? Okay, besides replacing artificial ingredients, colorants and flavoring into natural ones and ensuring it is safe to eat, we also want to extend the use of natural sources from halal sources and have diversity color in food products to, that have high demand from Muslim community. Okay, great. Sounds wonderful. Uh, exciting. So thank you everyone for spending some time gathered around the table. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.